Xin chào. Before you pack your bags and head off to explore our beautiful country, you need to apply for a visa. In this video, we'll walk you through the updated steps to apply for an e-visa to Vietnam. This guidance is updated from October 2023. Our e-visa guidance video includes four parts. First, the beforehand preparation. Then, a step-by-step e-visa -step e application procedure. Then, the online payment, and finally, your e-visa results. Before getting started, what is Vietnam's e-visa? It's a travel document granted by the Vietnamese Department of Immigration, now on your personal devices, providing permission to enter Vietnam. It's valid for a maximum of 90 days with a single or multiple entry. These are the three conditions to be granted Vietnam's e-visa. First, you have to be a foreigner anywhere outside of Vietnam. Second, you need to have a valid passport. And most importantly, do not fall into the cases where entry is not allowed as prescribed in Article 21 of the law on entry into, exit from, transit through, and residence in Vietnam. Before preparing for your application, you will need to get these documents done. First your valid passport for at least six months following your expected arrival date and has at least two blank pages. Second, international cards, Visa, Master, or JCB for the online payment of the e-Visa fee, which is 25 US dollars per single entry or 50 US dollars per multiple entry. Next, an image of your passport's personal data page. Remember to keep the image full and clear. That means the full page, including photo, personal information, and ICAO lines. Next, a 4 by 6 centimeter portrait photo of yourself. Looking straight, no glasses, and a white background. Finally, your exact port of entry. Remember, you must fill out all the information exactly what is shown on your passport. First, search your Vietnam e-visa national portal on immigration and click on the first result you see on Google. Then choose here for outside Vietnam foreigners. Read all the full text description on the website and confirm your understanding. Then click next. Now follow me through these three simple steps. Step one, fill out the required Vietnam e-visa application form online. Please note that all fields marked with a red asterisk are required. Other information is optional. We will focus on guiding you all the required information and skip the optional information. Now you can complete the application form by uploading your two photos and inputting the required information. There are three big sections, personal information, required information, visa, and information about the trip. For images, the two pictures you need to upload include your Vietnam e-visa photo and your passport data page photo. About your portrait photos, follow these criteria. Make sure it's a professional photo, not a selfie photo, size 4 by 6. And it should be taken within 6 months, with a straight face and no glasses. Make sure to keep it a white background and an image type of JPG with a size under 2 megabytes. Moving to personal information, please be aware of your surname. You must enter your full name in the exact order as in the ACAO line on your passport. Also, don't forget to fill in your given name. Remember, type in international characters only. Your date of birth. Type the date in date, month, year format or choose from the availability calendar. If there's no exact date, you can tick only year is known next to it. However, the provided information must coincide with your date of birth in your passport. Sex, choose male or female. Current nationality, fill in your nationality following your passport. Religion, fill in your exact religion. If you don't have a religion, type none. Your email, enter a valid email address for tracking your registration so you would better enter your frequently used ones. We enter your email in the next box. The new Vietnam e-visa form has three additional questions as below. If the answer is yes, Fill in your information. Requested information. Select the type of e-visa you need to submit, single or multiple entry, and your tentative valid granted e-visa. 
Here's a tip. If you already have a plane ticket, select the date according to the plane ticket. If you do not need to leave Vietnam during the visa duration, choose single. If you want to leave Vietnam and re-enter, choose multiple. Passport information. First, choose your type of passport. Select among diplomatic, official, and ordinary in the list. Normally, you would select ordinary passport. Your passport number. You need to enter the exact number series on your passport. This will include both letters and numbers or any other character that is listed on your passport number. Add the date of issue and expiration date of the passport. Fill in the information exactly as shown on your passport. About your contact information and occupation session, it is optional so you can skip these two parts. Moving to the information about the trip. These are the information you need to fill in. About purpose of entry, fill in your exact purpose. About the trip information, intended length of stay in Vietnam. Here you will enter the number of days. Intended date of entry, enter the planned day you will arrive in Vietnam in the date, month, year format or select from the provided calendar. You can enter Vietnam after the intended date of entry but not before this date. Make sure to check your flight ticket for the correct time and date. The validity period of your e-visa begins from the date specified in your approved e-visa document, not on the date of your entry into Vietnam. You can enter Vietnam on any date within this validity period. Second, allowed entry through checkpoint. If your arrival is in Hanoi, your checkpoint will be Noi Bai International Airport, Hanoi. If your arrival is in Ho Chi Minh City, your checkpoint will be Tân Sơn Nhất International Airport, Ho Chi Minh City. And similar to the exit through checkpoint. Next, fill in your intended temporary residential address in Vietnam and the city that you're going to. There are two additional questions asked below. Have you been to Vietnam in the last year? Do you have relatives who currently reside in Vietnam? If yes, fill in your information. About two last optional sessions. 1. Under 14-year-old accompanying child or children included in your passport. If there's a baby traveling with you and sharing a passport with the applicant, fill in the baby's information. 2. Trips expense and insurance. Fill in your trips information if you want to. Finally, put a tick on the confirmation box and enter the security capture code below. After you complete filling out all the fields, don't forget to click review application form and ensure all provided information is correct. Otherwise, your Vietnam e-visa registration might be rejected by the official. Then you will receive a registration code which must be saved for a later status check. We recommend you to screenshot your registration code and save it for later use of tracking your e-visa application process. Click OK to double check your information and click payment. Then you will be moved to step 2, make online payment. Your e-visa fee must be paid online right after the submission by international cards. Read all payments details. Remember, the order value on screen is just for reference. The exchange rate will change depending on your application date and your card of choice. After reading, tick Agree to confirm your understanding. Then choose Pay e-visa fee. There are two options, Pay by ATM card and Pay by Visa, MasterCard, JCB or Amex. You can choose the most convenient payment option for you, but make sure to choose the correct logo printed on your card. Fill in your card information. Remember, an OTB code will be sent to your phone number used to finalize your payment. Step 3. Get results and receive your Vietnam e-visa. Your application will be processed in 3 to 5 working days, excluding weekends and public holidays in Vietnam. After 3 to 5 working days since you submitted, go to this link. Or search for Check Application Status and Download Vietnam e-visa. And click on the first result. Then, enter required information to check your e-visa application status. If it is granted visa, your e-visa will look like this. 
Click on the download icon to download your e-visa. And voila! If your application is successful, congratulations! Pack your luggage and get started on your journey in Vietnam. More information can be found at our website. Disclaimer, this video is made by a brother to all people who want to visit Vietnam. You can refer it to. Don't forget to subscribe to A Broader Vietnam for more information. See you in Vietnam!